How do we find peace in the storm is the title of today's video and I'm very excited because this video will definitely benefit you. If you're watching from YouTube, make sure to subscribe and click that notification button to get notified every time I release a new video. So with that being said, how do we find peace in life? How do we maintain a certain level of peace with all the hecticness, all the craziness that is going on around the world? How do we find peace within our minds and within our hearts when everybody around us is drowning in fear, is drowning in worry, is drowning in anxiety, is drowning in doubt and so on and so forth? So how do we find this peace so we can be the change maker within our households, within the environment? And the answer is found in John 14, 27. Jesus says, my peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. In other words, the peace, peace is found in the gospel of peace. Peace is found in the gospel of peace. Peace is found in Jesus. For Jesus left the gospel with us to be read, to be shared, to be meditated upon, to be applied to. When you read the gospel of peace and when you share it and when you talk about it and when you think about it and when you meditate on it, when, you, when you're reading the gospel of peace, obviously peace will come to you. When you invite Jesus into your mind and into your heart for Jesus to reside in you, you will have peace for Jesus is peace. The gospel of peace gives peace to a distressed mind. The gospel of peace gives peace peace to a troubled heart it gives peace to hectic and crazy situations that are happening around the world the gospel of peace brings peace brings peace upon people and households and neighborhoods and, and nations and so in other words jesus is the way to peace if jesus is in your heart you will have peace in your heart for Jesus is peace. If Jesus is lacking from your life, if Jesus is lacking from your heart, obviously peace will lack from your life, from your heart. For Jesus is peace. And so peace is found in Jesus. When you see a person, whether it's a person you know, a person in your family or a stranger that you don't know, when you see a person who lacks peace, know that they lack Jesus. Even if it's someone who's a believer like me, and sometimes um, when I should be reading the Bible, when I should be praying and I don't, and I spend a lot of time away from Jesus, I begin to see that it begins to chip away at my peace. So even, it's, even if it's a believer who's living and applying that kind of lifestyle and they're still not peaceful, they've spent too much time away from Jesus. So when you see a person who's lacking peace, know that there is a lack of Jesus in their life. When you see a certain household who is lacking peace, you know, sometimes you enter a shop or you enter a restaurant or you enter a house and it's just the energy is just horrible, there's no peace, know that there's a lack of Jesus in that place. When you see entire neighborhoods and entire nations which lack peace, for example, everything that's happening in America today, know that there is a lack of Jesus in those neighborhoods, in those countries. Because when Jesus is in your heart, but I mean when Jesus is really in your heart, there will be no room in your heart for fear, for worry, for doubt, for anxiety. Because Jesus will anytime and will always conquer, will always have victory over these things. So Jesus in your heart means there is no fear in your heart. There is no doubt in your heart. There is no worry in your heart. There is no anxiety in your heart because these things are just not of Jesus. Jesus is of peace. He is of calmness. He is of rest. He is of clarity. So even when you have confusion, it's not of Jesus. When did the Bible say worry? When did the Bible say fear? When did the Bible say doubt? When did the Bible say be anxious? Never. 
In fact, the Bible over and over again tells us, do not fear, do not worry, do not be doubtful, do not be anxious. Why is the Bible telling us not to be, not to do those things? Because these things are not of Jesus. They are of the enemy. It is the enemy who comes in and wants you to be fearful. It is the enemy who comes in and wants you to be worried about this, that or the other. Wants you to be doubtful. Wants you to fear. Wants you to be depressed. Wants you to be anxious. It is the enemy. Why? Because the enemy knows when he puts you in that state of being, you are very sensitive to be controlled by him. For this reason, the Bible tells you clearly, do not fear, for fear is not of the Lord. God clearly tells us in the Bible, I have not given you a spirit of fear, which means fear is not from the spirit of God. Fear is from the spirit of the enemy. Over and over again, the Bible tells us, don't worry. Don't be anxious. Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, do not be anxious. This is just one of many examples that I'm giving you. That says, do not be anxious, do not be fearful, do not worry. Philippians 4, 6, 7 says, do not be anxious for anything, meaning for nothing, absolutely nothing. God wants anxiety to have absolutely no part in your life. It says, be anxious for nothing. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, with prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known to God and the peace. The peace of God that surpasses all human understanding will guard your mind and heart. Let me break that down for you. The first thing the Bible is telling us here is don't be anxious for anything. Absolutely nothing. It doesn't say you can be anxious for this thing, but not, of, not for this thing. No, the Bible clearly says be anxious for nothing. Finished. Nothing. The second thing it's telling us in this verse is Pray to God, prayer and supplication. Supplication, which means pray to go to God with uh, uh, eagerness about that thing you're going to you're going to ask for, with humility about that thing you're going to ask for. The third thing the Bible is telling us here is with thanksgiving, make your request known to the Lord. So with gratitude, go to God and ask Him that which you want. Whether it's more strength, whether it's more peace, whether it's more clarity, whether it's wisdom, understanding, whatever it is. And the fourth thing the Bible is telling us here is once you do that, the peace of God, not the peace of new age teachings, not the peace of personal development teachings, not the peace of reading a book and gaining some knowledge. The peace of God, which surpasses, which goes beyond all human understanding all human imagination, the peace of God which surpasses all human understanding will guard your mind and your heart in the name of Jesus. And this is just one example where the Bible is saying, don't be anxious. There are hundreds of examples where the Bible is saying, don't be anxious. And then it gives a, a, a definition of that. It gives a, it's an entire verse. And there's many verses that says don't be anxious don't worry don't be fearful don't be this that and the other and so worry and fear and anxiety and doubt is not of God God is of peace he is of love he is of calmness he is of rest and if you're lacking these things it is because you are lacking Jesus Christ in your heart and if you turn to Jesus and you invite him into your heart you will have the peace you will have the understanding you will have the rest and you will have the calmness that you need it's all about inviting Jesus into your heart where there is a lack of Jesus there will be suffering in life and there will be hecticness and worry and fear and so on and so forth so invite Jesus and Jesus will bring you the peace in your heart there's another bible verse yeah John 14 27 Jesus says my peace I leave with you my peace I give to you so if Jesus has given it to you there ain't nobody taking it away from you unless you yourself have decided to give it and so with that being said, we'll leave it at that for today. If you're watching from YouTube, make sure to subscribe and click that notification button to get notified every time I release a new video. Head over, head over to the description section below because there are multiple links there for you to click on. Click on them, see what works best for you, and I will see you next time.